Is it Taco Tuesday? What day is it? Friday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Today I am sharing with you my summer reading list. These are the books that I wanna read this summer. I have six books to show you, so let's get into it. I'm going to give you just short descriptions of each of them. I'm gonna read them from the book because it would take forever for me to formulate these descriptions in my own words, so I'm saving you time. So, let's get started. The first book on my reading list is a quintessential summer book, and that's why I'm showing it to you first, and it is Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. So, this is a collective book of short stories from different authors, and it is edited by the one and only Stephanie Perkins. If you haven't read Anna and the French Kiss, seriously stop everything and go read that book. I'm really excited that Stephanie Perkins edited this book because ugh, she's a legend. Maybe it's the long, lazy days or maybe it's the heat making everyone a little bit crazy. Whatever the reason, summer is the perfect time for love to bloom. Uh. Mm. Summer days and summer nights, 12 love stories will have you dreaming of sunset strolls by the lake, so set out your beach chair and grab your sunglasses. You have 12 reasons this summer to soak up the sun and fall in love. Oh God. I'm really excited for this. Moving on. The second book on my summer reading list is Emma by Jane Austen. This is in a classic lines cover in case you wanted to get the same one as me. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. I want to read all of Jane Austen's books, so this is the second one that I'll be reading. Scandalous matchmaking, mistaken affections, and unruly love surround a brazen young woman in Emma. It sounds like an Oscar nominee. Pretty rich Emma Woodhouse loves to meddle and is sure she knows best when it comes to love. So why not play Cupid and bring couples together? But Emma sometimes interferes too much in her friends' lives and none of the men Emma knows meet her own high standards for a husband. <laughs> Will her good intentions ruin other people's chance for love? Is there a man who can truly understand Emma and win her heart? So that is the Jane Austen book that I want to read this summer. Sounds like a fun time. A self-help book! Yay! I love books on how to be a better person. I love bettering myself. I'm a wild ride, I know. So the third book on my reading list is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Powerful Lessons in Personal Change. I'm sure you've heard of this book. It has been around for a long time. I actually borrowed this book from my mom and on the front cover, it has a little note from someone that says, off to a great start in 93, let's make it a great year. The fourth book on my summer reading list is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts, Wade, that reminds me of Sex and the City Wade. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within this world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on their creator's obsession with the pop cultures of decades past and that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take the ultimate prize. The race is on, and if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's always been so desperate to escape. I I couldn't read that last sentence for whatever reason. It kind of reminds me of that anime Sword Art Online. Yeah? This book looks like a good time. Moving on to the next book. The fifth book on my summer reading list is Bright Lights Paris by Angie Niles. I think this is a friend of Blake Lively. Shop, dine, and live Parisian style. Wow, did they write this for me? If you have watched any of my book videos or any of my videos ever, you would know that this book is so far up my ass that it is in my bloodstream. Take a life-changing journey with a fashion insider through the neighborhoods of Paris and become the most chic girl in town. I would've cut that line, I don't like it. Find out what the Saint Germain women wear, where Canal Saint Martin girls shop and hang out with their friends, the decor tricks of the artistic ladies in Montmartre, and how to cook and entertain as if you just rolled out of bed. I think this book is going to really fuel me up. First off, love the style, love the pages, love the pictures, especially the chapter pages. That's, that's good, that's good stuff. And last, but not least, the last book on my summer reading list is Love and Gelato. <sighs> this book? <sighs> um, Lena, I hate her name. Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany. Tuscany, Sienna is in Tuscany. I'm named after Sienna. Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany, but she isn't in the mood for Italy's famous sunshine and fairy tale landscape. Girl, unappreciative teenagers. 
She's only there because it was her mother's dying wish that she got to know her father. Ooh. All Lena wants to do is go back home. Honey, you're in Tuscany. You're in Tuscany on a full paid vacation. Can you be a little more grateful? But then she is given a journal that her mom had kept when she lived in Italy. Suddenly, Lena's uncovering a magical world of secret romances, art, and hidden bakeries. A world that inspires her along with the ever so charming Wren to follow in her mother's footsteps and unearth a secret that has been kept for far too long. It's a secret that will change everything Lena knew about her mother, her father, and even herself. Okay. I'm just here for the love and gelato. I thought I would end it on another summery, fluffy book. One to start the video and one to end it. That's what summer is about, isn't it? Those are the six books on my summer reading list. Comment down below some books that are on your summer reading list. And while you're here, be sure to go check out my last two videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next Friday. Bye. I love being a summery blonde. <laughs>